Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Davidson here in a shaving experiment video. I've got several days worth of beard growth, so let's get started. I'm going to prep my face off camera with Equate Vegetable Glycerin. You get this at Walmart for $5, and it'll last you a long time. Really slick stuff. I've had it soaking in the shower while well, I was in the shower. My Omega 10049 Professional Bore Brush 26 millimeter night. We'll go with Parasso Green today. Shave cream. I missed the puck. I need to get the puck. And to start today's party, my Parker Mach 3. I'll put the link to the handle below. And if you guys want to see the video on how to do it, let me know. But this has been stropped on a pasted strop. It's the dark blue down here. It's got a little bit touch of green in there. I cleaned it as best I could. And it's been hit with my new uh, leather strop I got from Gonzo. 25 on the pasted strop with a slight, about maybe a half inch curve into it. And uh, 50 on the smooth leather with about the same amount of curve. And we're going to finish today's shave off with. I need a menthol kick. My sinuses are kin allergies are killing me, so I'm going to go with a size rub. Heavily mentholated. Alright, when I come back, I should be fully prepped and lathered up, so stand by. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm back. Yogurt, anyway. Fantastic leather. I use less shave cream and soap too because this actually boosts your lather. Now for the stropped Mach 3. Parker Mach 3. Like a hot knife through butter. See? I don't know if they're still in business or not. It would not surprise me if they are. They wanted a little too much. But uh, there used to be a company called Razor Renew. And what they did was they sold strops that kept these going. But the type of stropping that they did was too much and was too violent and too hard on the razor. And I don't know if they're still in business or not, but the company used to be called Razor Renew. And the first time I did it, I thought I'd try it because I just needed to trim a little bit around my ears with their head shave and it worked. And as you can see right now, it's working. So if you guys want a video on how to do this and still use disposables and cartridges, let me know and I'll do one for you. And I'll even put links below to where you can get a good strop and tell you who to talk to. Now, I have not tried it with my leaf razor yet. I thought about that. If it, if, if it works on a leaf razor, then it's a game changer. Because a leaf razor uses DE blades split in half. And that would be awesome if you could get more mileage and shaves out of a DE blade. No tugging, no pulling. Very nice, extremely nice. Oh, tits. BBS first pass. Let's rinse off. You got a head shave video coming too. It'll be the last one with the palm razor. All right, let's rinse off a little 
All right, pass to you. Get a little water up in there. Perhaps that's thirsty, but that's a good thing because that means you get an added bore. Uh, add more uh, water and get a very moisturizing feeling soap. You don't dry your skin out. Pass number two, piece of board bristle across the grain. You know, the reason a lot of people still use these after blood thinners is because your chances of getting a cut with these are pretty slim. But you do go through a lot of blades quicker. However, if you want to do the stropping thing and you want the video, let me know and I'll do it for you. No nicks, no cuts, no tugging, no pulling. I call this a success. One final pass, and that'll do it against the green. You know what, this evening I'll do that video for you guys and show you how to do it and how well effective it works. You'll see it doesn't wait till the next shade to see how it works, how effective it actually is. Money pass. Mach 3 blades ain't that expensive unless you get a Sam's Club, but they're still cheaper than most. Uh, they're cheaper than the skin guards. You can also get handles for them now. Uh, markets really opened up after the wet shaving world took off with the blades and safety razors. Alright, I will call that good ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm gonna shut her down and get cleaned up. When I come back, we uh, recap and finish her off. So stand by. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm back. Squeaky clean, ladies and gentlemen. BBS. No cuts, no nicks, nothing. Probably one of my best shaves to date. And it was with a strong cartridge. Figure that one out, right? All right, let's recap. I prepped my face off camera with Equate Vegetable Glycerin. You get it at Walmart for around five bucks. I went with my Omega 10049 Professional Board Brush, 26 millimeter nut. Used an old favorite of mine. It's been around since 1948, and that would be Parasso, Parasso Green. Eucalyptus and menthol. And for those wondering that's never used this, uh, it's got an Italian barber top, barbershop type scent to it. And the star of the party was the Stropped Parker Mach 3. I quit counting how many shaves are on this, but the pastage drop and the strop work. And we're going to finish it off with another old favorite of my mind. Pinot Clubman's Osage Rub. Let's shake it up some more. Real heavy duty menthol here, boys and girls. And when you add water, it gets even stronger. All right. Oh, wow. No burn. No burn at all. All right. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Take care, and God bless. Later.